Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Insomnia the Ark. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that he chose to join me today. As I loaded the game and uh, the game made a terrible noise. It's not the first time we see one of those, I don't, or hear one of those. I don't know why. I think it might be because we have Insomnia, or Somnia, or whatever. Uh, but the good thing is that the game has been patched. We saw that last episode, and uh, now it sorts through all the things properly, and it's all amazing, and it's all great. Let's have a chat with the uh, not Colonel, Captain, Captain Rebuild, and see what quests he has for us. Also, he has a very nice, is that an armor, or is that just, what is that? Okay, that's not as nice up close. Mm. May I ask you a few questions about our work? Mm. What do you need me for? Oh, that's the one. Okay, yeah, I, I have. He, he gave me the quest already. Let's actually remind ourselves of what we. Um... Oh, yeah, that's right. We, uh, we're looking for Thyper. What do we know about this Thyper guy? Practically nothing. He did give, a, give us a, a location, though. Permission to leave? Absolutely. He did, did give us a location to um, to go to, so I shouldn't have a problem figuring out where to go. Now, we are... Is this an exit? This is not an exit. No, no, no. no. This is my locker room. I never use it because bollocks to that. Uh, it's too far away from ever, anywhere that I want to go anyway. Um, so we're just leaving through here because that's the closest, more convenient um, exit. Most convenient exit, I should say. Not more convenient. It is more convenient than others, but it is the most convenient. And uh, we're just leaving and going to, uh, to to where he said we should go. Right? Do we know where? Hopefully we do. Zone B27. We've been there. Huh. Hmm. Captain Rebel told me how Colonel Sabra... Mm -hmm. Asked him to help with something. I just need to find out some details from Sabra. I know exactly where to go to the military base. Unless it's not. Let's actually see. Can I confirm? No, I, once I... I think once I uh, select that, I am forced to go in there. So I'm not going to go there. I'm pretty sure it's a military base. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it is... Because it's definitely not the Vulture's Nest. Uh, and it's next to the elevators. We've been to Colonel Sabra. And I thought Colonel Sabra had actually given us a... Uh, a qu No, no. Or had it? Had he? Maybe. Because I remember Colonel, uh, the Colonel being like, ah, it's, uh, it's the hall. I need to go to the hall. Uh, come back because we don't have any business for you. And then I immediately go to, to Rebel, and he's like, yeah, he, he has business for you. So that was just, you know, a, a side effect of uh, how you do side questing and all that sort of stuff, uh, which is quite natural, quite common. Uh, we got a save right there, and we're going up the elevator. Hello, gentlemen. Let's call the elevator. Even though it's not call. It really isn't call. Call would be outside, and for, for one. And secondly, we are in the elevator. The elevator is right here, so it wouldn't even be call. It would be just not do anything outside. In here, ah, it's fine. It's all good. Lovely music. Again with the ring. That... We've gone over... I didn't check. I didn't look it up. I didn't see what the one ring means and the two ring mean. Uh, I think it's... Yeah, I, I think it's what I said last episode. Colonel, um, Captain Rebel sent me to you. Oh, it's great that Rebel was able to find someone to help me. I had something really unpleasant happen to me. The timing is quite terrible. All my people were either sent to the riot zones or are preparing for inspections of the committee. I'll explain what's going on. One of the soldiers of the infantry company, Unitor Shulky with the number uh, 91, went missing. He asked for time off due to uh, health reasons, but was denied. The next day, he did not attend the morning formation, and it soon became clear that he was not at the location. We contacted Shulky's father, Commandant of uh, Reservation D-106, Levy or Livy or something, I don't know, but it turned out that he had not returned home. I have got to say that Shulky doesn't have the best traits. He has never been known for exemplary behavior. But Commandant was uh, ardently begging us not to bring the case to light. He promises an, an, ex an excellent reward to the one who finds his wayward offspring. Start this small investigation with a visit to the Levy. Or Livy, again, I don't know. It accepts visitors at the administration of D-106. Affirmative, Colonel. Now... The question here is, is the Livy a location? 
Or do I need to just go to D106? Because we've been there. Uh, and I don't remember if it's one of those places that has a, uh, a locked area, a locked away area. It might be. Lovely songs. Indeed. <laughs> It's kind of a, it's kind of a funny song in and of itself. The just the the, the it's not irony, I guess, but it's sort of the, re, the the ridiculousness, I suppose. Not out of the song itself, but it's sort of the, the combination. Where am I? Oh yeah, that's right. The newest patch doesn't let you see where you are on the map, so uh, that's kind of a bummer. But at least he lets me sort through my things, which is all that I need, really, from the game. Forever. That's all I need. Don't let me use the map. I don't mind. I've played Under Rail, and I've finished it without a map. The newest expansion will add a map. Would you please stop? Thank you. Uh, the new ex expansion will add a map, and it's going to be amazing, but... Um, but, uh, but yeah, that, that that's one game where you get lost easily. Very, very easily. Uh, it, even if you draw a map by yourself, it's still very easy to, to get lost. Uh, very, very cool sense of exploration, though. Not that this game... Yeah, this game wouldn't have that, though, because we're sort of... It's a world map, we just go where we want to go. Where's the N106? We just saw it. It's right there. Let's confirm. Absolutely, let's go. So, 9060, D106, D27, D10, slash B, or slash 2. Is there any sense to the order here? Maybe. That's a checkpoint, actually. D and B... Maybe it's like the f wall sectors. I don't know. Let's go to Rainbow 106. That's the the bar, though. I think. Not. Not really sure where um where the vigni gnik or whatever he said is. I don't know the word. I suppose I, I thought it was a person's name, but hey, Zirgor. Remember, soldier. I do. <laughs> uh Okay. Do I recall being here? I think I might. I think I might recall. Yeah. It's crank. Doesn't say anything. There's a radio that needs to be shut off and killed forever. Yeah, it doesn't say anything. There's this guy. Uh, well, what are you looking at? My documents are in order! The woman burps loudly and then playfully covers her mouth with her palm. Playfully? That's a thing you can do playfully. Sure. Uh, I'm looking for someone. Do you know a mercenary by the name of Thyper? Oh, that bastard? Oh, to my great misfortune, yes, I know him. Will you tell me where he lives? That's not far. Go to the Wanda clothing store. Go up one flight of stairs and then the other. You'll see the, other, the way up. Only Thyper hasn't been there for three weeks. Only Thyper hasn't been there for three weeks. That's how I should have said that. Uh, he's probably with uh, that fat slut from the Square of Glory. Oh, you had me at fat. Let's go. Where's this? Uh, uh, actually, I do know where it is. Should know where it is. You guys remember the clothing store? That one that sold only purple crystal, crystalline um, clothing? Very pink, very neon. Not really sure if neon is is the word. Very cyberpunky, I suppose. Again, don't know where I am at, so it's gonna be a little bit tricky to find my way around. So we probably got in through there. That's what's next thing about jigs. Actually, I can just uh, yeah, I can just uh, know where to go based on the actual bar. If I find the bar. That's a kitchen. Huh. Sweet child over there with a broom. And yeah, I remember being here. This is an exit, isn't it? Okay, that's good news. Oh, to Fort Morak. Oh, I know where I'm at. I'm on the east side. Yeah, I'm over here. Somewhere. Fort Morak. So, where is... That's the thing about jigs. Yeah, more or less as I thought it was. I just I was just turned around. What a purification plant. We got gates. Garage, an isolator. Isolator, that's interesting. Uh, comet station. Mm, we haven't been there. That probably is the way we go through or something. I mean, it looks like there's more to this area, doesn't it? 
Uh, let's see. We got Orner's Pharmacy, an exit, Global Station. Viper's Shelter, it's up there. Okay. We can take care of that right now. Instead of uh, looking around for whatever I'm missing, because obviously I'm missing the um, VD error or something. Wait a minute. I rec I remember, that's right, there was like a, a boss around here or something. Like some dude that, you know, he's a boss. He's the boss of people. Uh, let's see, do you have... What is that? Attention. What? Militia commanders, please report to the Commandant's office. That's a terrible teapot right there. You don't do square teapots for a reason. Whoever designed that teapot didn't know how teapots work. Well, not that that wouldn't work. You could definitely have the, the, the heat spreader inside, but you need... Excuse me. Oh. You, you, you know, the, the round shape is good to spread the heat evenly and cook things properly. Boil water properly. You get hot spots in that uh, and it wouldn't work quite as well. <clears throat> so, uh, hey, what you doing over here? Uh, how can I help with the reservation? I guess I could use your help, soldier. We got a real mess here. Uh, Sergeant Kurtang, who keeps track of things in the reservation near the crematorium, just got in touch with me with a coma before th that. Um, although, if you... No, that, that's correct. Correct coma. He told me that Orans... What? That's a person. No, 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 that's an enemy. That's a, that's a sort of a creature. He told me that Orans belonging to the Ash Gatherers mauled some kid. It turned out that it was the son of the deputy commandant for property management, Skazar. The father's been threatening to take vengeance against those he holds responsible. It would be grateful if you went there and made sure that no one was hurt. Apart from the kid, apparently, because he was already mauled. What the heck is a or Orin? Reptiles... Excuse me. Reptiles from the junkyard, he says. They are incredibly agile and powerful. You've got to kill them right from the first shot. If you miss, you're in trouble. There's an entire flock of them in the crematorium pens. I now regret that we have uh, given them permission to keep peace like that. Yeah, you don't say. Interesting that it doesn't get marked as, as, as asked or... Yeah. So tell me about the Ash Gatherers. Oh, Ash Gatherers are a group of lunatics who believe in the teachings of the Cult of Death. I'm not one to believe in something like that, but tradition is tradition. Tradition just means unwritten word that has been passed from generation to generation. It can work even if it's just from one generation to another. And that's that. That's still tradition. You may laugh, but there are some... There are even some urbanites among the followers of this cult. You know, I, I don't remember the cult of death. I don't remember what they do. If it's like the other guys that... Uh, what are they called? The Bekera? They're pretty cool. They're pretty cool. I want those coffins that stand in the middle of everybody in shapes of statues. They're probably made of lead to preserve the smells or prevent the smells from coming out. All right, uh, yeah, I'll try to resolve their conflict. Thank you for your understanding. I'll go let Kurtang know that I met you at the crematorium. Do your thing. Yep, absolutely. So I think, yeah, I was correct. It is up through here. There is somebody that uh, didn't want to talk to me the last time I was here. Levy, that's right, It was. it's somebody. The second time they uh, they said they used the name, it uh, it was really weird, because it sounded like go to the Levy. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, oh, frankly, I don't understand why you allow yourself to visit my office without making an appointment in advance. Yeah, I don't understand that either, really. I mean, it's, it's, I I need to cover myself in protective gear or something to come here on account of all the nastiness in the smoke. Colonel Sabre gave me a job to assist you with finding your son. Really? Well, I'm glad you're here then. My son went missing four days ago. Colonel Sabre, with uh, whom I have established an excellent working relationship, immediately reported the incident to me, making sure that the situation is not publicized. I really hope that you will also try to solve the problem as quietly as possible. And now, well, we'll see. And now let's get down to business. You probably have some uh, questions you want to ask me. Uh, yes. Talk about Cholki. I'm sad to admit it, but my son is like an in, uh, like, like an incurable migraine. 
Ever since he was born, he had everything a simple getter could only dream of. I gave him an education and a chance to serve in the Ordinate. For residents of the near range, this service is a golden ticket to Herb. But all that interests my son is getting drunk and changing, cha sorry, chasing girls of questionable background. His... He has an, uh, an absolutely intolerable, char intolerable character. He's off an in yeah, yeah, he's off an in absolutely intolerable character. Only his loyal buddy, Bo Profier, can remain by his side. I think it's just because Shoki always has some extra tokens on him. Sometimes even tokens are not enough to keep their debauchery, such as the... Keep to the their debauchery, such as the recent one at Rainbow 106, secret from me. Oh, yes. That... Yeah, sure. Uh, where can I find Profier? Most likely in the barracks at the military base. Be sure to have a chit-chat with him. He claims that he doesn't know where Shulky is, but I don't believe him. Yeah. Yeah. An apple doesn't... That never falls too far from, from a tree, does it? I will shut your attention up. Where and when was the last time you saw your son? Lately, we, can, we only talked via the communicator. And only when he was in trouble, big time. I usually don't hear from him at all. I suppose you realize how upset the call from the military base made me. Uh, no, uh, yeah, very little. That's how upset it made you, because you don't talk to him. Probably. Um, <laughs> this time, Shulky went too far. <laughs> I have no grunts to say anything like that. I don't know Shulky. I'm just... <laughs> what? Uh... Let's go with this. I'm sure it was a misunderstanding and that everything is alright with your son. Excluding his character, of course, because it's not alright. I'm not gonna, you know, say the opposite of what he just said. Not this time. Soldiers don't just disappear. They either die on the job or go AOL. So they don't... they don't get official leave... at all? There's no official leave. Is that what you mean? Is that what you mean? No. What he means is that he doesn't disagree with me. He's just coming coming up with arguments for that. And if the first option is part of his work, the consequences of the second one... Uh, it sounds cynical, but it can ruin the reputation of our entire family. If my son lost his honor and became a deserter, then this should remain between us. I... Okay, um... Let's I get let's change the topic I guess I about your son I think I think I um, I talked about everything Oh what happened at Rainbow 106 That's right Those morons started quite a squabble in the bar How did everything end You ask Well its owner Grank presented me with a bill which I silently paid This is uh, something I've grown used to by now Okay uh, so that's yeah. Uh, let's talk this. This time your son went too far. Exactly, he says. That's good. Okay, hi. Uh, need to find some Sonia... So, so, Somniac. Didn't mean to do that. Press. I mean... Sure. You can't go up. Oh, you can. Okay, good. Um, I press space to jump and then... It doesn't jump. It just does that. Which is okay. I forgot that you don't have a jump in this game. It, it was supposed to be a top-down game. And then it, 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 it became a third person. Uh, game, which is still top down. It's just you know, sort of, not really over the, over the shoulder, but it's that it's, it's this. That's why it has a, a dodge rather than a jump. Uh, I I imagine anyway. So we need to go to the uh, military base. Uh, but before we do that, we're right here. That's administration. So I was right in thinking where, uh, thinking about that. So let's go to Thyper's place up there. I do recall the elevator. Hey, can I? The water purification plant produces more than half the drinking water. Can I go inside? It's closed. You need level 5 access. Well, then let's not bother with that. Oh, I, I see the purple. I see the pink. Are we getting close? We're not. Do I need to talk to you? Do you guys... Are you guys quest givers or... No? Okay. I've been here before. We have junk open. Yeah, uh, if it were unexplored, it would be investigate or whatever. Okay. Citizen soldiers and... Oh, that's right. Don't I need to go up this? Because it's an elevator. I'm up here. Oh, wait a minute. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm. Oh, yeah. We're we're in the right spot. I just I'm a little bit confused regarding how to get there. Hey, is this closed? Hey. Oh, it's not the same shirt at all. They look different. Maybe, the, maybe, maybe I forgot. Hello. Oh, there it is. That's the same shirt's in here. Hi, Wanda. Show me what you sell, because I'm gonna sell you some stuff. Not really. I don't have much stuff. You do have a nice hat over there. Shooter's hat. Mm-hmm. But I'm not gonna. Did you see that? Did you see this? A trader pack for maximum carry weight of 18. My current pack is also a trader pack for, uh, interestingly enough, uh, it's, it's the same stats, but it does minus 9% damage for melee and shooting, which is interesting, I would say. Okay, so... Is this it? Where the heck are we going? So this is one of the studio. Did I come in here? Excuse me. I mean, I, I came here because of the smoke and the light. Or none. I'm going to get lucky this time. This is it. The boy stuffs token after token into the machine. Do you know if it even works? He asks. Uh, the, I'm... What is this machine? It's an ordinary communications terminal. I'm not tra trying to make a call. I have nobody to call. It's a slot machine. I you put a token in and get a get a home. Don't you know? They're giving away rooms in herb. Buddy, there isn't much space in herb even without you. That's what everyone says. But my friend tried and he won. He went to collect his prize in herb and never came back. He leaves well now and forgot about us. Honestly, as an urbanite, tell me, do I have a chance or not? Who do they give rooms to? What do I need? I have no idea. Why are you lying to me, soldier? I'm being sincere. Listen, put in a good word for me. I have no wife or children. I don't know my parents. I don't need to bring anyone with me. I'm small. I don't need much space. I can't leave here. More axe, druggies, soldiers. They'll shake you down to the very last thread. I guess he earned it. Give me 10 tokens, soldier. What if it works for me? No, I'm not giving you anything. He's just going to waste it, and uh, he might as well give up on that, because if he... Well, it's quite clear the, the story that's that's being told. So this requires the utility room key that I don't have. Yeah, it's quite obvious the, the story that's being told. And also, it's... Uh, so this leaves the location to somewhere, okay. Or to the outside, most likely. Also, it's interesting, it's one of the few situations where... Uh, I'm an orphan without a family is a good argument to have pity on them because it, uh, it's like usually that argument is made when you you know you point your gun at people and you're like and some and one of those people I mean I'm not saying this out of experience I've never even held a gun let alone uh, well actually I have but just not you know at people um, it's what was it it was like one of the it's like a rifle little rifles. It wasn't a even a hunting rifle, I don't think. Um, but um, but anyway, I'm, it's not. Of course, I'm not talking for experience. But you hold your gun at people, and one of them goes, "Oh, please don't kill me! I am uh, my parents died or something. I'm I'm an orphan or something." And they're like, "What? I should kill the other ones because they have families? If I'm ki gonna kill anyone, it's gonna be you because you you don't have anybody to to mourn you." <laughs> so it's you know that's that's, that's a bit of a. A weird... I mean, uh, tropes are tropes, so whatever. Um, but, uh, but yeah, that's um, that's not uh, necessarily the best argument to make. Is this where I need to go, Mr. Guard? No, it isn't. At least I don't think so. Uh, but that time, it is actually makes sense, because he's alone. He doesn't need to bring a plus one. And uh, I think this was the way, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the elevator is broken. But that doesn't mean we can't go. Or maybe the elevator starts up here. Or maybe I'm just turned around forever. I do remember coming up here to the upper level. Absolutely remember coming up here. And there were enemies. And I fought them. And then I went back downstairs and I was like, Yep, I've just been to a dungeon. And nobody even mind. And did you hear that sound? We're in combat area. And we have enemies. They respawn. 
That is a getter over there. Okay. Well, we're out of time for the day. So let's kill them next episode. For right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Insomnia the Ark. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.